I uh, wasn't going to create this video actually because as you might be able to tell I am quite sick and I have been for the last week. It's really been uh, it's been kicking my butt to be honest um, but I was thinking about it and uh, one of the things that I really want to do on this channel is um, share the real so not the, the highlight reel, the real reel. So this is where I'm at right now. So I welcome you. Um, and there's two things that I wanted to kind of share, two kind of life updates for me right now. The first thing that's been going on. So I'm going back to work full time in two weeks. And uh, a little while ago, I created a video sharing my my fears about that. I have a lot of fears surrounding that. So instead of throwing myself in cold turkey, I've been working with my employer. And uh, over the last three weeks, I've been going in and I've been shadowing people in my profession for half a day, two days in a row. So the very first day that I did that, that was, it was very overwhelming, you know, just getting up. I usually get up early, but getting up early and then actually getting out of the house early is something that's really new for me. Typically, if I get out of the house, I don't leave until, you know, 12 or 1, but I had to be out of the house by 8. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do it was just to expose myself to a new routine and um, prepare myself. And then the other thing was putting myself into this environment where I had a lot of anxieties and fears and just going there in a non-threatening way. I wasn't in charge of anything. Um, people weren't coming to me for... Um, like responsibilities and I really just got to be in the environment and shadow a couple of different people and get used to what that environment feels like and pick up some tips from them as well because I mean I've been out of the game for about three years now and not that I forget but I mean it's nice to have a little refresher so in all honesty it went better than I thought. That first day I had a lot of fears, a lot of anxiety. There were a couple of tears as I was leaving the house, as I was pulling up to work, as I was getting out of the car and going into the building. Um, but once I got there, I felt oddly at home. It was exciting. It was refreshing. It I think it has the opportunity to be very rejuvenating and I didn't expect that at all. So I was excited to go back the second day, the third day, the fourth day. And uh, this last week I was supposed to go two more times, but because I was sick, I didn't get to go those two times. I just kind of got to go once, but it was, um, it was really, it was really good. And Honestly, I am excited to start in a couple weeks. I know that it's going to be a lot different. Um, actually, I forgot to mention, can you smell Lil? Oh, that light is not good, just one second. After work, those first four days, I needed to take a, a nap after work and it was only like three and a half hours, three and a half, four, four hours of shadowing of work. But I came home and I was absolutely begged, so begged. So, you know, I, I think that I'm in for a bit of a challenge in a couple of weeks when they're not two half days, they are five full days of work. Um, so I'm really going to have to uh, up my game. Obviously, I'm going to have to up my immune system and really focus on feeling better and looking after my body more. Um, but yeah, so that is a big thing that's happening. I'll keep you posted about
or how it goes when I actually go back to full work and I am, I'm working and I'm the one responsible. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me, let me, I just picked up these little Halls minis. Let's see if this helps. Okay. Here's your mama set. So, I'll keep you posted on that. The other thing that is coming up, um, you know, I'm a huge, I'm a huge, huge advocate for continuing to speak up for what you feel is going on in your body. If you feel like there's something that's wrong, because if you watched my very first video about four signs I missed, I did speak up when I thought that there was something wrong, but I only spoke up once. And uh, that one time, my, my intuition, my feeling that something was wrong was disregarded by the doctor. And I, I didn't air that again for another three years. And that's when I got my diagnosis. So I do have one spot in my breast that it's been irking me for a couple of years and I have been very diligent to talk to my doctor about it, my oncologist about it, and get the testing for it to make sure that it's okay. And so far it's been okay, but I just, there's just something about this spot that, like I said, it just irks me and I just, I don't feel like it's right. And uh, last time I saw my oncologist, we were talking about other things and I actually forgot to get her to do a, a physical exam for this one spot. Um, and that was, I can't remember, like three or four months ago. So this week coming up, I get to see her again. And one of the big things that I want to show her is this spot and uh, get her opinion on it and see if there's any cause for concern. Um, yeah, I just, like I said, I've made that mistake before by speaking up and then retracting and not continuing to express my, my concerns. Uh, so I'm not going to make that mistake again. So I'm looking forward to talking to her. She's a specialist and just making sure that I'm not being negligent and letting that go. Um, yeah, so I will end the video here, so you no longer need to listen to my hoarse voice, and so I don't have another coughing attack, but I hope that you are doing so well, and I thank you for being here with me, and as soon as I can feel a little bit better and feel like I can talk without having a coughing attack, I'm going to put together a formal video for you. I'd like to talk um, about radiation next answering a big question that I had about radiation. Um, so stay tuned for that. Remember to subscribe to this channel as I'm going to continue to be here for you and with you. And I hope that you'll be here with me too. Talk to you soon, friend. Take care.